Hey YouTube, today I'm going to review a nice little application I found on my iPod Touch running 3.0 firmware. Now, I'm not sure if it necessarily has to be running 3.0 firmware, but mine just happens to be. So this application is called Mocha VNC. You can find this on the App Store. Here, I'll open mine up and show you. You just want to search Mocha VNC. Now, there's a version that costs $5.99, that's the full version with lots of features and cool things, but if you just want to try it out, there's a light version too. See? I'm not sure if you can really see, but the top one is Mocha VNC, and then third one down is Mocha VNC Lite. So, what you want to do is you want to click on that, or I'll touch it, and then if you don't know how to install apps already, you just touch the little free icon and then press install. Now I already have this installed so I'm not going to install it myself. So why don't you just take a moment to install that, pause the video while yours installs, and then resume when it's ready. Now we're going to go on to the computer part of the installation. We're going to install um, a program called Ultra VNC, also known as UVNC. Um, hang on, let me just switch the camera over to my computer to show you. Alright guys, so now why don't you just follow the steps I'm doing so we can install the um, UVNC software to your computer. Just open up your internet browser. I personally use Google Chrome, but you know, if you use Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever, just um, open up. We're going to go to www.uvnc.com. Once your web page loads, you should get a page looking like this. You want to go over here to the download section. Click download. Now, this program is only for Windows, I believe. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe it's only for Windows. So, you're going to go to the latest version. Download Ultra VNC 1.0.6 for me. It could be a later version, but you're going to click... Um, under update, whatever, and now you're going to choose the full version, not the update, because the update's only if you already have the program, but you want to update it. The full version is for just a fresh install of the program. So you're going to click on that. You're going to click on um, your operating system, whether you have a 32-bit or 64-bit. I have a 32-bit, so I'll click that. It's going to load for a second. Now you're going to get an option to save the setup, why don't you just do that. So it's just loading. Now, once this is done, we just open up the setup. Personally, I can just open it straight from the internet browser, but on other web browsers you may have saved it to a certain location, so just open it up from wherever. So you want to open up the setup. I'm on Vista, so it always um, asks me if I want to run certain files. I really like this feature, it's for security purposes, so we just click run. I need to enter my administrator's password, but you may not have to if you already have administrator privileges. Remember to run this as an administrator, guys. If you don't have the option to enter an administrator password and you're not on an administrator account, remember to enter your administrator, well, run it as an administrator, okay? So you're going to choose English. I'm going to go to Next. I accept the agreement. Next. And you're going to choose the file save location you want it to go to. Full installation, guys. And Next. And you want, for um, Vista, you want the uh, Vista add-ons. This kind of helps speed things up a little, I believe. And um, you want the mirror driver. This is for Windows 2000, XP, and Vista. Makes things run a little faster. And um, if you want this to come up as a system service, meaning it starts before you even log in, you can click that. If you want to start your service right after the installation, you can check that. And if you want a desktop icon, I personally don't because it'll appear in the taskbar when you start up your system. 
you can click that if you do want it though. And um, if you want to associate Ultra VNC Viewer with the .vnc file extension type, then you can click that. But I'm not going to. So we're just going to click next. Install. It's just going to take a moment here, guys. Let's extract some of the files. And, um, you know, it's just a really cool overall program, but, um, here we go, it's almost done. Alright, so, I'm going to click next. And we're going to click finish. Cool. So, now that that's done, you'll see this little icon down there. Now, I'm not going to hover my mouse over it because it displays your IP address, but you do need to know that, so why don't you just hover your mouse over it like that, and then um, just write down your IP address, or remember it, so you can put it into your iPod or iPhone. Okie dokie. So once you have that all set up, we're going to go into All Programs. You're going to go into Ultra VNC, and you're going to go into Edit Settings. Remember, you should be running this all as an administrator. Okay, once you're in Edit Settings, you want to go to Security, and from here you want to make yourself a password. This is so that random people can't just access your account. Once you have your password, why don't you just save that? And I believe that's all you need to do. You can just put out of that. Now, this should display your IP address if you hover your mouse over that icon. So, why don't you just um, write that down, and then you can, yeah, just write that down, and I'll go into the next step. Sorry about that, guys. Alright, um, hang on, let me switch the camera. Hey guys, so now that you have installed UVNC onto your computer, I'll give you a quick demonstration. So we're going to go into the VNC app on your iPod Touch or iPhone. You're going to go to um, Menu, Edit Connections, click on a blank one, and now you're going to enter the IP address of the computer you're using. For security reasons, I'm not going to show you mine, but an easy way to figure out your IP address, if you don't already know, is for Windows, user, Windows users, you can go to the command prompt. If you don't know how to get there, I will add instructions in the video description. But you can go to your command prompt and um, type in IP config. That's C O N F I G. And then press enter, and you will get your IP address. So you want to enter that into your um, iPod Touch. You want the server port to say 5900. And um, you want to enter the password that you set when you set up um, Ultra VNC. Okay, so that's about all you want to do. And then you can click Connect. And it should just take a moment, as you can see. Mine's loading. And would you look at that? It's my computer. Very cool. So you can use it just like you would use an iPod Touch. You can zoom in by holding two fingers and spreading them apart. And once you zoom in, here, see, I just zoomed in a little. I can go into my start menu. You know, you can do lots of stuff with this. It's really cool. It's just like you're on the actual computer. So, I mean, it's really cool, you know, for especially since the light version is free. It's a really cool thing to do. I would highly recommend this for those of you who like those cool little technical gadgets. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed my installation instructions and review. I would definitely give this software a 5 out of 5. Only downside is, it's a little slow at times, but considering you're controlling your computer from a small handheld device, I think that small weight is worth it. Wouldn't you agree? Alright, thanks guys. Have a good day. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.